What's going on guys and gals, my name's Sean. If you landed here, you're watching Scar My Guitar. What's up everybody, it's good to see you back. Now if you come to the live videos, you already know some pretty cool stuff happens in them. Yeah, we have a good old time in the live videos, and I appreciate all y'all that hang out. Yeah, if you're one of them guys that hang out, you already know Brad the Guitologist popped in. All of us talked him into sending me that Gibson Les Paul he found in the dumpster at Guitar Center. That's right, he found it in the dumpster at Guitar Center. Apparently they destroy them or something when they got some inventory problem. Now, I don't know what an inventory issue is, because if I have more guitars than I'm supposed to have, I mean, how can you have more guitars than you're supposed to have? That's just something my brain don't compute. And if you don't know the Les Paul that I'm talking about, I'll let Brad tell you himself. Here he is. Back in 2017, I think it was, I found this uh, Les Paul in a dumpster uh, behind Guitar Center and made some videos about that. If you want to see those videos, I'll put links up here. Uh, for now, I am going to send this off to my friend, uh, Sean over at Scar My Guitar, uh, he's got a lot more time than I do on his hands to take on projects like this. I just, you know, this is not something I'm going to get into probably any time for the foreseeable. And he and I were talking about it the other day, and he uh, he wants to try to take this project on. So good luck to Sean. This is going to require some doing because we've got uh, basically a shattered neck. As you can see, the headstock's broken off in the typical fashion but also uh it's much more serious than that because the neck itself has been split and uh, basically shattered on the back we can see the uh damage comes all the way down down here this is to the about the uh, gosh i don't know the eighth fret ninth fret it makes it down to um We've got a bit of a gouge right here, and that's also a crack. You can see that over here. So again, just shattered on the neck. And you know, I was thinking to myself, I could probably repair this uh, given enough time. And I'm hoping what Sean does, and you know, this is just my hope of what he does. He can approach it any way he wants, but I'm hoping he does this by removing the fretboard uh, also, the fretboard itself will have to be repaired, so that will be instructive to see how to remove the fretboard and repair that. At any rate, if, if he can get the uh, neck repaired, the rest of this should be fairly easy. Now, I, I'm thinking um, on these body, on all this body damage, you can see somebody took a hammer to it. Long story short, that's what, what happened here. This was an inventory, some kind of inventory issue at Guitar Center. And they destroy items uh, when the manufacturer tells them to. That, so they'll destroy it, you know, in field, so to speak. That's kind of the terminology. Or on site. And they will then dump it in the dumpster, uh, destroyed. And they'll take photographic evidence and send back to Gibson, who will get, then give them a credit of some kind. So it's probably something along the lines of maybe this was, a, it arrived with a, as a scratch and dent, maybe it arrived uh, wrong color, maybe, I, I don't know, maybe something was just off with, with the order. And for whatever reason, um, they destroyed this rather than sending it back. So it'd be neat to see whether or not uh, he can repair all of this in a satisfactory way. Of course, we've got, you know, it's broken through back here crack through back here you can see a big crack through the entire body uh, here which will need to be repaired so yeah I'm gonna get this boxed up and sent off to Sean and we'll see what he does with it be interesting I'm gonna tell you this right now it's a good thing I don't work at Guitar Center because there's no way I could stand around and watch some idiot beat that beautiful guitar up with a hammer yeah if I'd have seen him doing that I'd have probably gave him a couple of nice smacks upside of his head with the same hammer. Now before we get started doing any actual work, I want you to pay close attention to that sign right there. It don't say baby nobody's guitar. It says scar my guitar. So if you're some type of OCD guy, or you're some little tenderoni, you need to leave now. And if you're one of those guys that don't have a single guitar repair video on your channel, 
and you surely don't have one doing something like I'm finna do, don't become a pro down here in the comment section, all right? Yeah, don't suddenly become some great guitar builder in the comment section. Now that we've gotten that out of the way, Brad said I got a lot of time on my hands, but that's not true. It just doesn't take a lot of time to do this. So we're gonna do this in real time just for you. So that means this video is gonna get pretty long. Yeah, this video is gonna get pretty long. So we need to get at it. The first thing we gotta do is take those frets off. So that's gonna be enough lip flapping. Let's make it happen. Yeah, we gotta pull these frets off. You'll see a lot of guys heating them up. But we're not gonna do that. That only needs to be done if they're glued in really good and these aren't. If you notice I'm pinching them out and the reason I'm doing that is because it helps keep tear out from happening. You're going to get little chips. You ain't going to be able to avoid that. I don't care what you do. These things have teeth on them. Yeah, it looks pretty good. Very minimal amount of tear out. This is an expensive Gibson. I just want to show these frets. The tang isn't even nipped on them, and they're super skinny. Man, those frets came off pretty easy, huh? I did it in real time so you could see just how long it really takes. Yeah, that's your expensive Gibson, and the tang is nipped on the fret ends. Let's get this fretboard and this neck off. Now, to get the fretboard and the neck off, we're just going to use these three simple tools right here. Now, I don't know if you've ever taken a fretboard or a neck apart, but I have a few times. This will probably take us tops 30 minutes. And here's a fun fact for you. All the rust you see on those scrapers came from doing this exact same job about 35 times before this. So let's get at it. There's something happening there, huh?
I'm adding water right now. It's got a little spray nozzle on it. Just got to keep doing this. It takes a long time. We'll get it off of there. Now I'm going to take this longer one and put it in here. Break out the real hammer. Who would have ever dreamed it would be the same thing to fix it? It would be the thing that destroyed it, huh? Feeling off good, ain't it? Going off of there. Not playing any games. There we go. 
go. Look at that beauty. We'll clean that off with a chisel here in just a minute. We've got to get it glued back together as well. Right now, let's address this mess. Almost.
it is. <clears throat> That's what you want right there, boy. He's in there good, wasn't he? How cool is this? We don't even have to protect the body to take these out. <laughs> you guys check out this little chainsaw I got, man. It's called Tommy Vic. It's 21 volt max lithium. Six inch. Let's see if it can cut through this hard maple right here because that's what I got it for so I wouldn't have to wear my jigsaw out. Now that's a rough cut. But dude, that's two inches of hard flame maple that that thing just mowed through. Yeah, I'll be using this around the shop quite a bit. It's pretty cool. If you want one, there's a link in the description. Now, I know Brad had high hopes for repairing this. He probably thought he was going to rig this up here some kind of way and put some old wood splints in this. Man, that's just not a good idea for this. It's, this is what you call a wrap. <laughs> this is a wrap guys this is a repair that just doesn't need to happen but what does need to happen is we need to get a new neck made for this thing why don't you just cut it out with the bandsaw what cut it out with the bandsaw and shape it up like you do the other ones I, kathy this is a gibson neck it's got a angled head stock it's got all these things that have to fit in here it's not just a straight cut i just so cut it you can do it no, I can't do that. That's crazy to even think that somebody could cut a Gibson oh, Les up, Paul neck up. Your tag's hanging out of your Let me fix it. What? Alright, here you go. Better. Yeah, you know what? Let's give it a try.
That's what we're working with. looking pretty good enough for me
Yeah, we're going to do the dual action truss rod on this. Screw that old one way with Gibson. Now there's wood missing here. Or this RFID chip or whatever it is. But I can't have that. I need this to be flat. So I have to improvise a little here. And that'll be good enough. Yeah, that's the neck hiding under there. Oh, well, it's okay if you use a lot of clamps, but I can't. Oh, <laughs> that is a lot of clamps, isn't it? But uh, you're exactly right. It's okay if I do and not you. Now this video is getting super long. I don't expect you to sit here and watch me for a couple of hours. Not too bad so far. But got to radius that fretboard again. We got to work on this horrible body. That'll be the first thing we tackle in the next video. Yeah, that thing's already looking pretty sweet back there, isn't it? I can't wait to get it finished. And I can't wait to see you in the next video. But until then, don't you touch my scar guitar. Don't you touch my scar guitar.